Hello, my name is Tess. Uh, thank you again for visiting my channel. Um, I know last time I promised that I'm gonna talk about paper, watercolor paper, drawing paper, and what to look for in choosing a paper, but I realized that it would be better, I think, to post it um, as a blog post rather than a video blog um, because my current equipment cannot really show you in close-up the differences in the paper texture so I think it would be better if I just take the photos and then post it in blog in a blog post write paragraphs about a certain specific paper so I'll just make a different uh, blog post about that for now I just want to show you the contents of my my sketch bag so everyone who's enjoying on location or who just likes making sketches during their free time we usually have a sketching kit or or an art bag so I have mine here I'll try to turn on the camera towards the bag okay this is actually my um, sketch bag my art bag um, I have another one though this one in particular um, I got this as part of a kit a convention kit um, the last conven in the last convention that I attended so it's a pretty nifty bag and for something that is free it's good and useful so uh, I'm gonna open up this bag to show you the contents inside actually having problems with the tripod and doesn't seem to reach the height that I wanted it to so here um, okay there is a snickel pocket here now usually where I put my house keys and then this little white rag that I use to wipe the paint so for other people they use tissue paper for it but I want to save <laughs> I want to save items and I don't want to waste paper so just use this old white rag you can use other piece of cloth or your old clothes and cut it up so you could wipe the paint from your brushes here and then of course um, my favorite fountain pen this uh, pilot Prera with an extra fine nib i don't know if you're gonna be able to see and it's gonna focus but then this has extra fine and it's inked with heart of darkness one of the popular <laughs> noodlers inks out there and it's really hard to find um, I bought my heart of darkness from everything calligraphy so when this when she gets some stocks of the ink na uubo siya kagad as in like wala pa yatang one day na uubo agad I don't know, people are watching that website very closely. So, the ubus yung mga popular inks agad. So, yeah. But, there are other black, uh, wonderful black fountain inks out there. Pero, <laughs> popular talaga kasi yung Heart of Darkness. So, I use this for my um, pen and ink drawings. Okay. Then, I will open it. Okay. Yung contents na ngayon, these are just the the basic that I have um, I could have more depended on sa need ko pero this is the basic <laughs> pero don't laugh I have an umbrella you know naman here in the Philippines even in summer it rains so I have a foldable umbrella inside and of course my watercolor journal this is Moleskina uh, the one I showed you in the last video <laughs> I have a ruler okay and then some of my kikai stuff lipstick powder Shampoo basic yun you need to freshen up every now and then and then I have this little tub full of water I'm sorry the water is already dirty because I used ko for painting um, I usually bring this empty tapos I could just ask water if I go to restaurants and I pour some water in it or if sinisipag ako I'll just bring this like half filled with water 
para hindi siya masyadong heavy. Okay. So, whenever I feel like, you know, sketching with watercolor, I always have water available. Um, another option is, you could, um, para mas lighter, you could bring an atomizer para nare-reactivate din naman yung paints when you spray on them. Tapos, parang you could just use the remaining water as um, clean wash for the brush for the brushes. Okay. Then, I have baby wipes. Yeah, for general wiping needs. Okay, let's just remove some of the items. Of course, I have my power bank. Nilabas ko na kasi, so wait. This one. I, I had it attached to my one of my gadgets. It actually attached to my um, Bluetooth controller of the tripod. So it's old na Xiaomi power bank. Tatanggal na yung sticker. And actually very useful siya sa akin. Ilang years na siya sa akin. What else do I have here? Of course my wallet. Okay. Huwag nyo nang pag-interesan. Konti lang ang laman yan. <laughs> And then, of course, a body spray. Importante yan when you're sketching outside or just whenever you go outside. You have to have things to freshen up yourself. And then, my house keys. And then, I always bring like a couple of binder clips to hold my sketchbook open. Dahil na kung ba mahangin sa labas. And then I have this um, this wall charger I got from the ASEAN when I uh, I was able to attend the event. No, so useful siya kasi it's actually for it has four USB ports. No, so you can just plug it on the wall and apat yung devices na pwede mo charge sa bay sa bay. So useful siya kasi I I have like two phones, so you could. I have the option to charge them at the same time. Okay, sorry. Eyebrow liner lang to. Okay, kailangan kompleto kasi yung aking kikay kit. And then, last one, but not the least. Of course, my watercolor palette. Now, this pan I bought from um, Happy Pans. Um, meron silang Instagram a page. I will link that um, below sa description box. So, you can see here hindi pa masyadong madumi yung palette ko kasi newbie ako eh. From the ma if you're gonna look at the palette of the masters, ang dumi na nung palette nila. <laughs> Ganun nga yata talaga. And then, I have here my Daniel Smith watercolors. So, sa ngayon, 23 na sila. Okay. And then, I'm planning to buy more, of course. And then, when you go out sketching, pwede naman actually naliitan or kaunti lang yung dadali mong colors just that I want all of my Daniel Smith watercolors in one place kaya mas gusto kong ganito kalaki yung palette but you could go na um, as small as like maybe six colors parang three, pri three pri primary colors tapos yung cool and warm versions of it uh, I could post a separate video for that no? how to build your palette and then I have my Skoda um got the travel brush size 6 ito versatile I bought this from Art Whale yung mga Daniel Smith ko na watercolors I, I bought it from um, from this art room and then craft carrot and then now may available na sa fully book so hindi na siya mahirap hanapin before kasi hirap hanapin and then I have like Uh, a bunch of needed eraser. Okay. So, you may be wondering if, aside from this, meron pa akong, like, ibang pencils or pens. Um, pwede ko silang dalin, actually. Pero, ito yung pinaka-basic. Um, dal dala ko siya in a separate pen roll. Now, welcome pen roll na to. I like this pen roll kasi nandito na silang lahat. Na, 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 pencils and the pens and then still a mop brush Montmart tapos isang a flat brush Raphael so I have my pencils here tapos nandito na yung aking yung parang 
blend mga stamps sa stamps dumi na nila, sorry and then pang sharpen ng pencil okay I have another one of the travel brush kasi yung isa size 6 this one is a smaller one na size 2 okay and if you notice dun sa ano ko dun sa palette ko kanina meron pa akong smaller brushes doon and this one is I need an eraser ulit ang kit ng lalagyan so I kept it okay it's handy lal na if your pouch is hindi yung ganitong type yung zipper type so para hindi dumidikit yung eraser sa sides okay so the advantage of this is um yun nga naka-organize yung stuff mo but then my problem with this one is kapag hindi very snug yung placement mo of your art materials the tendency is when you close it tapos hindi siya parang very snug hindi properly closed when you parang carry it parang yung downside na yung up down nahuhulog yung pencils tsaka yung pen so kailangan very snug siya make sure it's very snug tapos okay lang if you're carrying it inside your bag pero what if you're carrying it lang sa hands no? so pwedeng mahulog yung mga gamit mo so pwede rin naman I, I have a pouch back at home na minsan yun naman ang ginagamit ko kaya lang the problem is kapag nagpapalit-palit ng ganun nakakalimutan ko yung ibang gamit so ngayon parang mas okay na sa akin tong pen roll okay so I usually carry them like this na or kaya um, since I'm a person who cannot really live with a small bag usually tendency ko is to bring a lot of things eto nga pati yung tripod pa nito so I carry a backpack pero kung bag pinaka basic for sketching like for sketching trips yan ito lang pwede na ito so how about you I'm curious as to no kung ano yung laman ng bag ninyo so maybe you could um, post in the comment section below and then maybe you could suggest more um, parang mga bagong items that I could include in my bag so well this is a short episode for now but thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the way with paint bye